All right, so I know it has been an absolute minute since I busted out this camera, but I'm currently on my way to go pick up my first two rolls of 35 millimeter, 35 millimeter film. I don't know, something about that didn't seem right to say in my head. Anyway, uh, I just sent them out to the lab about a week ago. Just finally coming back, I went out and cop a Minolta SRT 101, and it's got a 55 millimeter 1.7 on it. It's pretty nice. It, I don't think it was inspected anywhere. So I'm not entirely sure if everything works properly. Now one thing that I do know is that after every shot that I advance, the roll of film, I have to lock the shutter, or the, uh, the aperture lock. It's weird, there's like a little button on the bottom that essentially, if you don't click that button, you're shooting wide open at 1.7 regardless of what you change your aperture on the ring to. So I found that one out a little bit too late into my first roll. So we'll see how about 75% of those shots turn out. I'm um, expecting them to be bad. Hopefully they aren't as bad as I think, but we'll see. Uh, and then I also really, really want to focus on my composition as well as obviously my exposing and all of that shenanigan. All that shenanigan, that doesn't even make sense. I've never really got into photography on a serious level. I've always been interested in it. I've had this camera that I have right now since I was about a freshman, but I literally only got it to record vlogs at gaming events. So um, it wasn't like the best photography camera. I tried to take videos, or not videos, tried to take pictures with it, uh, a couple events, but I mean, I just didn't know enough about photography to really know what I was doing, to really see if the camera was that great. It's just a Sony A5000 with the kit lens, but uh, nothing extraordinary. So once I get to the lab, or not the lab, once I get to the shop and get those scans back, I will show you guys. And I also haven't talked to a camera in like two years, Some some crazy. Oh my God, bro, what am I doing with this lighting? Uh, I haven't talked to the camera in quite some time, so excuse my awkwardness, it has been a minute. I'll get there. Throughout this video, I'm sure you'll see a little bit of progression, but it has definitely been a minute, so I wouldn't say I'm uncomfortable, but I just don't really know what to say sometimes, so we'll get there. Alrighty, so I went and got on Mac. I also picked up a box of Portra 400. <clears throat> Fuck, I don't know what's up with my throat. Got a couple rolls of that, just loaded one in, and I've been taking a couple pictures. We stopped at a town, probably about 30 minutes up the road from actually where I picked up my scans. We went to go get ice cream at this like artisan pot place. It looked really cool. So uh, if you're in the Middletown, Delaware area, would recommend charting, checking out artisan pops. It was pretty cool, but got a couple of my rolls here, like I said. And uh, some of these negatives, from what I've looked at, are looking damn good. Now, the one thing I'm sick about is they told me it was going on a USB drive. These motherfuckers put it on a DVD drive. Not a, there's only one computer in my house that has a DVD reader, and I don't even know if that computer works, and it's an old computer, so I'm gonna have to go home, put those on there, and then transfer it over. So we'll see how that goes. All right, so my desk is in absolute shambles right now, but this is the only computer in our entire house that has a DVD drive right here. And of course, like I showed you guys, fuck. Got it. Please power on, please power on. <gasps> oh, bro, I got so scared it wasn't turning on. Found 70 pictures, uh-huh. But right now we're gonna hop in here, we're gonna take a look at these pictures and I'm gonna get them over to my main computer and then I'm gonna try and see if I need to do any kind of editing to them. I'm gonna mess around with a couple of them. I think they should be fine for the most part, but you never know. Uh, like I said, I shot a bunch of them accidentally wide open, so we're gonna see. Wish me luck. All right, so we are here in Lightroom. As you can see, I've got a bunch of old pictures from the first time that I went out. You know, nothing crazy. We're gonna go in here and, of course, throw in our new pictures. Uh huh. 
import. We're gonna just add all. Oh, all right, and then let's start from the beginning. All right, so this is just a picture of Maverick that I was messing with the shutter speed. Okay, this one's really, really overexposed, but it's all right. I got really lucky with this cat right here. I was framing it up and then cat just started walking out from behind here and landed up. I was sick because I missed it by a millisecond, bro. It could have been perfectly centered, but I tried. It tried. Just another random shot. A lot of these are looking a little bit overexposed. Just some random shots, nothing crazy. This guy, he got the jorts on. Okay, I like this a lot. I like the uh, tree-looking thingy going on in this garage. This guy's whole garage is painted up the side. It says like octopus and um praying mantis or playing mantis and it's like a praying mantis with the guitar bro it's so funny i think i actually have a, another picture of it another overexposed <laughs> another overexposed <laughs> like i said i was expecting the first 90 percent of them to be overexposed but uh yeah none of these are really too interesting that one's way out of focus that one's super i, I could probably salvage that one i kind of like that this one's pretty cool i like the the two color the gold the gold and then the yellow of the sunset shining on this back side of this house nice little vibe you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying this one man i'm sick i'm sick bro <laughs> i'm sick oh and it's not even in focus and it's overexposed all right i ruined a lot of shots here but it's okay uh, this one composition's mm. definitely nothing to write home about this one i forget why i even took it oh because of this bird right here trend told me look at the bird now uh okay i tried i tried same with that I tried. <laughs> <laughs> There's Trin. <laughs> I like the way that this is shining though. That's pretty cool. And she was going after this cat. Um, I like this. I really fuck with the, the way the Porsche rendered this one. This one's really pretty. Same with this. Ah, the colors, man. The colors in the back. I just needed to under... Like I said, a lot of these shots are overexposed. This was night. <laughs> underexposed that one i can't believe this one even got some going on here um this is crooked as hell i don't remember this being crooked when i took it though that's easy to fit <laughs> <laughs> oh shit i gotta go back no 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 <laughs> what was I doing, bro? Some of these compositions. I don't know what I was. Ruined a lot, a lot, a lot of these. This one's not too bad. This one, eh, I kind of, uh, kind of going with it. I like the pink over there, but uh, the the white's a little bright. I'm gonna have to bring that down a good bit. Now, this was one of my favorite ones from the entire shoot, and I knew it was going to turn out well when I took it. I've been wanting to get something with this area right here. I like that this van is always parked here, and now you probably can't really tell. Oh, but right here. Oh, how the fuck do I zoom in? Oh, right there. That's a shirt that, oh, fuck. as you guys can tell, I don't really know my way around Lightroom too well. <laughs> <laughs> but um right here you know i like that this was centered up perfectly i really like the blue door with the red brick and then for some reason the windows on this door really caught my attention i just really like the way that this looks kind of like a 60 vibe you know so like that and then right after we've got now this is right next to my place you know what i'm saying i like this it's all right nothing crazy obviously this is one of the last shots that i shot on the first roll <clears throat> just trying to get rid of it i don't think it's too bad uh, i think the composition could have been different definitely here's when i started going back out this is my second roll coming through 
Uh, I like the way this is going on. I think I might be able to do something with this. It's really overexposed. I mean, not really, um, but everything's really, the highlights are just blown the fuck out. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's not bad. I like this one. Uh, I had people staring at me while I was taking these shots. Speaking the fuck out of my neck. I'll rotate all these, obviously, but I really like these. Um, could have been executed better, but the thought was there. Really like the way that this shadow from the trees was coming down, and then the uh, the red swing with the yellow. Thought it was a nice little contrast color here. A little bit of blue. Can't really tell, but that's blue. Didn't come out too well. Um, this picture, I really like this. Nothing stands out about it. It's just a busted up boat sitting in someone's backyard. But pretty cool. Pretty cool. Nothing crazy. Uh, let's go. A natty light can. This, I was really hoping that it was going to be able to read this. This sign right here says Wemmons. I figured it wouldn't because I only obviously have that 55 millimeter. I was standing a little bit too far away to get that in focus. But I like this. It's pretty cool. This shot, I like. I like that that star is centered up perfectly up there. I took this on my phone as well, and I was a little bit further back, so it had the full scene. But I really like this kind of cropped uh, look that we got going on over here from the 55 mil. I think that this is probably also one of my favorites as well. Nothing special here, just home of the heroes. This one's pretty cool too. Uh, I mean, nothing special, obviously, but. Uh, over here, we got a guy bending over. <laughs> that pole lines up perfectly with his ass crack. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I don't know what it is about me just catching people bending over backwards. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, shit. Uh, but, you know, got that church going on. Got some construction. A little... Uh, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working. Keep in mind, guys, this is my first two rolls, so... This is just for documentation. We are just trying to see how I did... I want to see where I can improve. That was the whole point of this. Now, I took a picture of this TV at the very, very beginning of quarantine when everything started. And this TV was like perfectly intact. It was just sitting there fine. And come back a year later, the same TV is in the exact same spot. Just busted up. <laughs> Think I'm not taking a picture of it. You got me fucked up. I actually ended up coming back to the same spot the next week. And the TV was literally gone, bro. And that's the whole point why I'm taking these pictures is because of how much the channel has changed in the last literally 19 years since I've been here. And I can't imagine how much it's going to change in the next 50, 100 years, whatever. So I really want to just document everything around town. And this is just a perfect representation of it because, I mean, it was just a busted TV. But come back a year later, different position, and now it's gone. Like, what the fuck? I took two. I don't know why. I guess I fucked up my shot there. Um, this one is pretty minimal, pretty basic. I liked the way that was shining. I liked the, uh, the red and blue. We'll see if I can do anything with that. Uh, I liked the, the window and the door. Just something about this just seemed really weird. I liked that. I don't know. Got my bonsai. I was just testing. Taking random pictures. <laughs> oh no, man. Is that a light leak? This one's not too bad. I like this because this car was busted up and I got the prelude right there in the corner. That one's not bad. I like this shot right here. This is really cool because I loved the way that it was shining off this truck. I wish I could have done a little bit better job of exposing it, but obviously we are here in post. So we can see what kind of stuff we can bring back here. This one was really cool. I like the way the trail was coming down here. As well as obviously the way that it was shining off. Pretty minimal, pretty clean. I, I really like this faded look that's going on here. I guess I overexposed it. I don't know um, necessarily what causes this. It could have just been Fuji 400. It's just super, super green. So we'll obviously come back and take care of that. This one's not too bad. I feel like I had a shot just like this on that first roll. Just didn't come out well. And then this as well. 
So there we go. Those are my first two rolls. We're going to go back and we're going to see what kind of editing that I can get done on some of these, see which ones are my favorites and do a little bit of before and after. So I will catch you guys after I figure out which ones I really want to figure out. I can edit.